welcome to ADV with Roscoe. I'm Charles, that's Bob. And this is my 2019 Tundra. Now, if you're following my channel, you probably know that I uh, have a blue Tacoma with a camper. And yes, that is my current overland vehicle, adventure vehicle, ski bum vehicle, everything vehicle. And this I bought, oh, if, let me back up. If you follow my Instagram, you've seen this vehicle a few times. But this spends its life in the garage. It's my mall crawler, my grocery getter. And uh, it's been on the beach a few times. It's hauled the motorcycle a few times, but it's time to put it to good use as my new overland vehicle. So my plans are to sell the truck and camper early summer. I have a buyer for the camper. The truck's gonna get put up for sale. If anybody's interested, feel free to hit me up. Uh, sell that to fund this new build. So I've had this since November, 2018. And like I said, it's a 19. I've done a few things to it, but I'm looking for some help uh, on as to what to do to it, how to build it out. Um, I'll show you what I've done to it so far. I don't know if I should go with a, with a rack and uh, a rooftop tent, if I should go with like a go fast camper kind of style uh, cap on the back uh, or uh, a pop-up camper or just sleep in the back. I haven't decided yet. I, I could use some help, see what people think. Uh, so yeah, we're building out this truck this summer, this spring. This is getting built as my new Overland vehicle. I'm going to continue to use the blue one for skiing and, and uh, until this is ready to roll. Um, like I said, I'm going to sell the blue truck probably early summer. So let's take a walk around. Let's see what I've done to the truck already. And feel free to put in the comments what you like and dislike about what you've done to yours or what you think would make this look cool. So let me show you what I've done. Okay, around back, we have uh, an Expedition 1. Bobby, come here. We have an Expedition 1 rear bumper with the dual swing outs. I have the fuel cans, but I don't have the bracket. I uh, still need to get that. I haven't decided. Me, tell me, should I put the fuel here or should I have an aluminum box made and I could use that for recovery gear? What do you think? But we've got the dual swing out that holds, uh, I mean, there's a little bit of vibration here when going down the road. But it holds just 285. No, and I, I have not had it fall off, so it holds it just fine. I really like this Expedition One rear bumper. Um, I put it on myself with with the help of my my friend Bud, and their directions and their inst it was it was flawless. They're, it was easy. It was well designed. So two thumbs up for Expedition One. Great bumper. All right, let's check out what I got for rock sliders on the side here. All right, on the side, I have a white knuckle rock sliders. They are bomber. Um, I got them secondhand. I thought they were no drill. These happen to be drill. Not a big fan of that, but um, these things are amazing. Look how sturdy they are. I, I believe, I mean, obviously I think you could jack the truck up here, but you could probably put a couple uh, straps on this and just pick the truck up and hang it. These are, these are amazing. So white knuckle rock sliders have already been done. And uh, the suspension, let's take a look at that. Okay, the suspension that I chose, I don't know if you can see the green coils in there, but uh, I went with Iron Man. My last vehicle or, or my current Overland vehicle, the, uh, the blue Tacoma has Old Man Emu BP-51s. And I cannot say enough good things about those uh well i guess there's one thing i can say negative is that the cost these are a lot less they're supposed to perform equally as well i will let you know but it's a completely different animal this is a much bigger truck than that so i don't even know if it's going to be comparing apples and oranges i don't know but on this truck i went with uh iron man front and rear and so far great but like i said it's been a mall crawler and it's been on the beach that's all this vehicle has done i hate to scratch it but the time has come to use it for what i bought it for uh in the front 
I've wrapped all the chrome. I don't, I'm not a big fan of chrome. Uh, the bumper tips were chrome and I wrapped those. This part of the grill was chrome, I wrapped that. Uh, what else? That's, that's pretty much it. The only other upgrade to this truck, the SR5s do not come with, at least to my knowledge, this one did not come with uh, electric uh, heated leather seats. And that's one of the things I wanted. So I had the dealership install some heated leather seats. You know, because when you're crawling the mall or, or you know, getting groceries, you got to be comfortable. Okay, so that's the vehicle. I'm looking for help building it, designing it. Uh, I, I, I'm open to suggestions. So put it in the comments. What, what do you think I should do to make this a super cool, capable overland vehicle? I will tell you that I like big round lights. I'm old school. I, you know, I've been reading Peterson four-wheel drive off-road magazine since I was a kid, and I like the round lights. But if enough people say put a light bar up there, you'll be happy. Maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, I also really think I want a snorkel. I've wanted a snorkel my whole life. And we know they're more than just uh, deep water. So there might be a snorkel. Tell me if you think I should put a snorkel on there or not. I'd be interested in what people say, but I've always wanted a snorkel. I can't, I can't lie. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. My 2019 Tundra build has started. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and put a comment. Tell me what I should do to this truck. I appreciate everything and I appreciate everyone. Thank you. And let's build this truck together. Thanks everybody.